Salamanders, welcome to the review. This is where we review teas. Um, we pair them up and um, we work it out. Uh, Nigel will expand. Yeah, we work it out. What do we work out, Anders? They got oh, <laughs> we work out which is the best. We work, yeah, we work out for you, <laughs> the viewer, which is the best tea. Um, Nigel will make more sense of that. Go on. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Right, okay. We're comparing Dorset tea. Yeah. Had that a couple of times. We have. And versus Stockwell. Stockwell, which, if I remember correctly, is Tesco's, Tesco's isn't it? Yes. Yes. And Dorset tea, I've got mine in weight trays. I um, don't, I'm not that posh. Stockers. <laughs> it's like they're searching for tea everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, if you want some blurb on these companies, we've done them in the other videos we've done on them. So look it up there. They're all there. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, anyway, uh, Dorset tea first, I think. Okay. Let's do it then. Now, we've done that for four minutes as we have. Yeah. Instructions have on the box. Yeah. I'm. Um, this is the third time we filmed with this 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 tea. It's a very nice tea. I'm liking it more and more each time I'm I'm, I'm yeah. filming with it. It's such it an, an evenly balanced tea. Yeah, it's 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 smooth. It's it's got the bite of that you want from a cup of tea when you first sip it, it. Has that, yeah. and it hasn't got any lingering bits at the end no it hasn't no. I've, actually I've gone way deeper into that than I should have done to be honest yeah and me <laughs> during it way I too like that now stop, stop, well. stop well I was going to say eh. let's just yes. yeah oh the first thing it hits me, the contrast, that couldn't be more different from the, the, the one we just... Yeah, my, my first thoughts, and again, what happens is we film these in a, in a couple at a time. Yeah. And, and I haven't got the brain capacity to, com, com, you know, to keep what brand tastes like what. I think you just had to finish that sentence and just say, I haven't got the brain capacity. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Right, sorry about that, Anders. No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, uh, it's uh, it's a little bit watery for my liking. There's a, there's a flavour there actually reminding me. It's not... <clears throat> Mud. Mud. <laughs> Who's ever tasted mud? Well, I'll tell you what, any rugby player's tasted mud. But Yes, but any cross got... country runner has tasted mud. Yes. yes, we know what it tastes. And like. any three year old has, of course. Yeah. Do you do you get that? Was it just me? I get it. I think. I don't know how to describe that. Better. Mud's just the first thing that came to my into my mind. So that's what I'm calling it: mud flavored tea. Hmm. It's not unpleasant. It's not unpleasant. Because mud isn't. Yes. Anyway, we'll get our act together. Get back in a minute. Let's do that. Mm, so much going on. Um, the Dorset tea is changing for me. I don't remember it having done that before. I remember. I during the break I said it's got a little bit more flowery. Yeah. That's. If you can have flowery. It's still a decent cup of tea. So, uh, Stockwell tea in, the, in past tests has not fared as well. It's not a it's not a bad tea, but it just hasn't fared as well. That is the most I've enjoyed it. And I think it's run the Dorset tea very, very close. I think it has. Um I think we might have said this on here. We certainly said it during the break it, uh, in, in as much as these teas that we're trying at the moment are kind of 
below the best sellers. Yes. But yeah. these taste as good as any of the best sellers and would push them hard. The Stockwell is not a bad cup of tea. The only issue I have with it is it's a little bit watery. Well, I didn't think it was that water. My, my, I've got quite a small mug, so it might have just been stronger in my mug. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the, it's just that smoothness with that Dorset tea. It just, I know it changed a little bit. Yeah, changed negatively. I would say as it went went down, both have changed slightly negatively. But I was the Stockwell had a, a much stronger finish than I I remember. Yes, yeah. but you know, who, who would you pick pick today? I would, I would go for Dorset. I would as well, but it was very close, very close, absolutely. Um, I, I'd, I'd say if you like, if you like your tea, like PG Tips, I would say see that, buy it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised because yeah. I don't, I, I think that's slight better, but it's, it's got none of that bitterness. I think that's why people like PG tips. Yeah. That, if you're short of a few bob, that's cheap as chips. So buy that. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Well, there we go. Two nil, but just. Yes. So there we go. Thank you for watching again. That's been, um, I hopefully, educational for you. And you can take something from this. Until the next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>